Hello, Augies Worldwide. I'm Dave Kassler, amateur radio call sign KE0OG, here with another episode of Ask Dave. I ran into a problem last week, and that is that my old Yihua soldering station gave up the ghost. And rather than try and dig the thing apart and figure out what might be going on, uh, I just took the easy way out and ordered the modern version of it right here, which is the uh, Yihua 853D. And so let's, uh, let's do some unboxing and find out what's inside. Okay, my solder station went belly up, so I ordered another one. This is the same manufacturer, or at least the same uh, brand name. It's hard to sell with the Chinese brands, but it's e e y i h u a Yi Hua or something like that. Anyway, the other one I kind of like, so I thought I'd stick with the same brand. And here is the important documents inside. And what is inside? Oh, just uh, something about warranty, operating instruction, and operating manual, both in English. Nice big piece of styrofoam. So let's see what we've got in here. This right here is a little interesting little thing. It's supposed to be an IC lifter. If you um, pick up, you know, if you use hot air on a circuit board with surface mount components, uh, you can melt the solder on all the pins at the same time and pick it up off the board. And this is a filter of some kind. Here are our soldering tips. All the different ones that go from great big massive uh, things like this one here for doing coax down to itty bitty teensy ones for doing work on surface mount components. This is three little attachments to put over the hot air blower so that you can get them into the tiny space that you want. And this right here is a desoldering pump. You press this in, and then when you melt the solder, you hit the trigger on this, and it goes back and sucks the solder right up into this thing. I've got one of these that's actually electric and does the same type of thing. I think this one will work fine. We had some power plugs here. There's a little power supply in the unit and the purpose of the power supply is so you can have some 5 volt power for your board if you are troubleshooting and changing things. I would not normally do that. I would um, I think what I would do is troubleshoot and then disconnect and then go to the soldering iron. This is about um, oh. Uh, quarter roll of lead-free solder. Uh, lead-free solder uh, takes a much higher temperature. It is 0.7% copper and 99.3% tin. No lead in it. Uh, the whole world is moving to that. Here is a... Well, what is it? Stainless non-magnetic Anti-acid, ideal for sensitive components. Use senior acid anti-magnetic stainless steel. I don't know, used for something. We'll find out. This is the actual soldering iron right here, and it's got a tip over it. And you put the tip you want on this thing, screw this down, and then you plug this in to the solder station. It's temperature controlled and the temperature control is located about here. 
Okay, so if you have a solder tip out there, it takes a while for all that heat to get to the solder tip. So when the meter says it's time to solder, wait another couple minutes to get all the way out to the top. Okay, this right here is another uh, heater. This one's square. This blows your hot air through that. Now, I warn you that the hot air on this thing is extraordinarily hot. It'd be 800 degrees. It will burn things. So you do need to be careful. The reason it's so hot is so they can melt lead-free solder. This is a computer-style power cord for the device. This right here is your little um, solder uh, soldering uh, iron holder, you put that in there and over here it's, it can just hang in the air. And then this right here is like clumped up shavings of copper and stuff. You can clean your iron in there without having to have a sponge. Or you can put a sponge over it. And we've got this sponge right here that fits over that. This right here is a little holder that will go on the side of this to hold the hot air. I think. Well, let's keep going down here. Okay, this is the hot air. Now it's controlled through an interface to the machine. You've got a little blower motor in here, and then you have in here a quartz heater. And this quartz heater uh, there's a temperature control in here too, and hot air comes out of here. Now, that hot air is hot enough to very quickly shrink down heat shrink tubing, uh, but more, it, you put a tip on it, then you take it over a board that you're reworking, and you hold it here for a moment, and it melts all the solder, and then you use your tweezers to pull up the component you want. You can also do the opposite. You can take uh, solder in like a, um, they sell it in a little uh, sort of a syringe kind of thing. You put it just a tiny dab of this stuff. It contains both solder and flux. You put them on the pads that you want. Drop your component right on it and then put the heat down right on it. It will melt that solder and melt that thing into place all the pins at once. Okay, let's see what we've got here. Is there anything more? Okay. By the way, I want to mention something about this. These quartz heaters are very delicate. Do not drop this. If you break that quartz in there, you'll have to get another one of these. Okay, and they do break. Be very careful with them. Like I said, they can get extremely hot. So this is the actual soldering station itself. So we'll just pull that off. And over on this side, is where that holder goes for the quartz heater. And um, here you've got a few uh, things. Now, there are some, I suspect, I don't see any actually. The old one had some screws I had to remove that uh, kind of held the pump in place. I guess the pump has been moved to the uh, wand. So here you are, it's the front face of this thing. Let's come down here and and look at this. The um, There is a master on off on the back. Okay, when you're done turn that off. When you turn that on you can either go to rework which is the heat okay or solder um, I wouldn't do both and you can push the temperature up and down with these now uh, my last soldering station did this with knobs 
but you can go up and down in temperature here. But once you do that, um, it, uh, let's see, this is auto manual. Okay, SMD rework goes in here, soldering station goes in here. I do not use the heat very often, but I do use it for things like uh, heat shrink tubing and so on. And occasional rework on an SMD board. Now this right here is a, um, a voltage. This is a voltmeter here, okay. And 0 to 15 volts, 1 milliamp to 3. And you turn on DC power there. And this light will come on when it's powered. you got to be careful with this, okay. Um, you've got a plus and a plus. This right here is your DC, okay. And you can test the voltage here. And so this is your output. I'll have to read the instructions on that. I don't know why there are two reds and one black. And we've got these two push buttons on the front. The voltage has got a knob. It's a simple resistor type knob. So you don't, you dial in the voltage, but you're going to have trouble getting that exact. Now there's also a 5 volt USB connector right here. So um, I seem to remember reading it's only about one and a half amps. So I don't know if you could recharge um, much with this, but if you need the five volts for something, it's there, okay? So this is my new soldering station. Now, the old one I've had for a long time, and it has uh, gone bad. So it went out in the trash. Scratch, scan or code check authenticity. Okay, well, I'll worry about that later. It's authentic Chinese, okay, and looks like a pretty nice solder station. Uh, the addition, this half is the addition that this one brings that the old one didn't have. And I really like that I can disconnect the SMD rework, which is the heat gun, uh, because I very seldom use that. I mostly do the solder. So now how much did this thing cost? Not that much. Let's look at it on my latest order on Amazon. Wow, now I do want to make one point very clear, and that is that this station was not given to me. I paid for it with channel funds. If you would like to help uh, add a little to channel funds, you can go to decaster.com slash support and find a way it works for you. And until we next meet, 73.